Are you ready for this vignette about leukemia? Of course you are. 49-year-old female comes in with fatigue, mucosal bleeding, infection. What I call um, pancytopenia. Bone marrow biopsy is ordered and revealed hypercellular with 40% of the cells described by the pathologist as large, immature, blasts that contain azorophilic needle-shaped crystals. What are these? Do you know? These are the hour rods. On immunohistochemistry, they are positive for myeloperoxidase. Thank you. So, here I know we have pancytopenia. And here I know we have lots of blasts. Could be ALL or could be AML. The age bracket makes ALL less likely. Also, myeloperoxidase positive makes ALL less likely. The needle-shaped crystals with our rods makes AML very likely. So what's the diagnosis? AML. Which of the following has bad prognosis? All right. How about the T1517 translocation? This is acute promyelocytic leukemia. It has an excellent prognosis. No, this is not the answer. T821, this is the most common subtype, and it has a favorable prognosis, so it's not this answer. Okay, what else? De novo AML. Okay, this is like a little vague. Question is trying to tell you that de novo AML is different from secondary AML. Between the two, AML has bad prognosis, so de novo carries a relatively better prognosis. Or D, Y blood cell count of greater than 100,000? Of course, this is the correct answer. You are watching Hematology Oncology Lectures by Medicosis Perfectionalis. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Thank you so much in advance. Until next time.